Hi, I'm Michael Barakiva, and I'm the director of I Loved, I Lost, I Made Spaghetti. Which, by the title, <laughs> uh, you can gather that it is about relationships, relationship with self, relationship with romantic partners, and also relationship with food. And I sort of go through various relationships in my life talking about what I cooked for these men. And I will actually be preparing a full meal on stage, which we have sort of the makings of in here. Although that cheese might be gone by the time I'm done with it. Yes, our first date. Yes, the first, we were, our first date. We were set up on a first date by my agent. Uh, um, yeah, and I don't even remember what happened except that I know we just started talking about food. Uh, yeah, yeah. We like chatted for half an hour. It was like fun and I was like, oh, I would... I would listen to Larissa read the phone book. She's just like so interesting and so present. And then I said, well, you can stop whenever you're ready. And then she started reading the material, but again, it was like so conversational that I didn't realize you had started reading. I was like, oh, that sounds a lot like Pex from the play. And I was like, oh, we're in the play already. And it just yeah. felt like... And that was a surprise to me too, honestly. Oh, really? Yeah. But you know how we Italians are? When we need to work things out, we work them out in the kitchen. So, I get therapy. You get to eat. <laughs> it's such a funny way to start a show. My my dad is or was Russian, uh, and my mom just decided to like host Russian. They would auction. This is what they would do. Oh my gosh! Now I remember. She made me a little costume and everything. <laughs> they would auction off as a fundraiser for something, and now I can't remember. I think it was maybe for my school. They would offer. They would auction off this night of. Russian music and food. I don't know what possessed my mother to do this, but <laughs> my, dad is a, my dad was a classically trained pianist, and so he would like come up with his program, and my mom would just be in the kitchen for days. And we make, a, like my family's, uh, the Armenian side, we make a, a dolma or a sarma, which is a grapevine leaves wrapped um, around rice or rice and lamb, or, and that's like the most delicious thing in the world. I am making the dough from scratch on stage, and I am making the pasta on stage. I just have to do this as much as possible before I actually have an audience, so that it's sort of like second nature. Um, and then it should be a little bit easier. Yeah, the good news is that like, I'm, at least I'm not trying to like figure out a recipe on stage. That would be, it's not chopped, you know? My challenge is to keep it feeling as intimate and sort of raw in that way as possible. Yeah, so this is a serving. That's like a pretty big serving. Like that'll cook up to be yeah. pretty big. Um, I think intimacy is really the right word. While also having it feel like we're just chatting. <laughs> we're just chatting over a glass of wine. I'm most excited for them to experience Larissa. That is the thing I'm most excited for them to experience. Well, I'm excited for them to experience Julia. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that's so special about what she's done is that when you read it, you feel like you're hanging out with a friend. And it seems like the most simple thing in the world. But to really be able to create that environment artistically and have that be what you're trying to give people as an experience. I just think there's nothing more profound than that in terms of like human connection. Hopefully people will leave feeling satisfied in their bellies and in their hearts. Yeah.